I think one of the biggest misconceptions about PR is the fact that, first of all, you need to have studied PR in order to do PR. Um, that's not the case. I think uh, PR is not rocket science. A lot of the times, the things that um, you need to learn about PR can be learned on the job. I think to be able to do PR, you need to be able to have, um, you need to want to be, I think you need to have a curious mind. You need to want to learn. You need to want to adapt, grow, and you need to always want to be curious because curiosity um, in this line of work is more often a plus point than, than a negative. Um, one of the other things that people, all, people think about PR is the fact that it is structured. Um, it can be if you work in an organization that is structured. Um, but for those who work for a startup, for example, um, where things, uh, you know, where it's agile and things are moving all the time and changing all the time, or if you work for an agency where you have to um, handle a couple of accounts, um, structured is never going to be the case. A lot of the times, you need to be able to do things on the fly and you need to be able to adapt again um, and, uh, you know, pivot, for lack of a better word, and just uh, roll with it. Um, and I think one of the most prevalent thing, uh, things that people think about PR is that it's glamorous. Again, it can be. Ultimately, it depends on brands that you work on. But even with glamorous brands, um, what people see um, are the finished products. What they don't see uh, are the uh, you know the the, the late night uh, sorry the late nights the the changes that that happen behind the scenes that lead up to the product being say launched or introduced to to the public. So um, yeah, whilst it can be whilst it can be glamorous, and sometimes if you work for example if you work for a lifestyle brand and you engage uh, influencers who may be celebrities, yeah, it can be. It can be fun, it can be glamorous, you get to hang out with them. But more often than not, what they don't see is the prep or the behind the scenes that goes behind it, uh, that goes towards making um, the product launch or the event a success. Um, you know, PR is, is basically strategy. And PR is about um, understanding um, your, your publics, understanding what they want, um, understanding how you're able to tailor make your ideas or your approaches to make to 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 be relevant to your intended publics, and I think with PR you need to like people. I think that's the most fundamental thing, and what's more important than that is that people need to like you. Um, half the time you are the middle person between an organization and your the media, right? Um, and or, or you could be the spokesperson of your of your agency or the brands that you work on. So um, being able to be um, to you know you need to obviously work with different types of people uh, externally internally. Uh, so therefore you need to like people, right? But but again more than that, people need to like you and they need to be able to see that you are um, professional and that you have their um, interest at heart and that you're able to communicate it or help them communicate it in the best way possible. So I think those are the things that I would say uh, people have, that people think uh, or they have this idea about PR that is not necessarily the case.